everyone welcome back to my channel or of course welcome if you are new today is a very big day I am in route for my hair appointment that I have like every six to eight weeks I think the last time I got my hair done was like seven weeks ago yeah my hair is very grown out but I'm changing it up I have been blonde for a couple years now and don't get me wrong I freaking love being blonde I do I truly love it but I have come to realize that it's just so high maintenance and I don't mind getting my hair done every six to eight weeks but it just kills my hair my hair has not grown past this length in years and I chopped off a good five inches during quarantine in hopes that it would get really long <laughs> it didn't it's been this length for I don't know how long so I've just been really considering switching it up I think I might go back to brown hair but not fully my thought process was maybe like a dirty blonde almost like a light brown with some highlights I don't know I've seen a lot of inspo on Pinterest so I'm feeling quite inspired and I think that might be a little less harsh on my hair and yeah might just like overall warm up my face a little bit and like match my complexion better because like this ain't working it took me a while but i've trained my hair to only wash it once a week so this is like day seven hair and it's not even that greasy like it's a little bit greasy i'm not gonna lie but it's not as bad as it should be so that's good for my hair every time i wash it i deep condition the hell out of it and it still seems to be quite dry the bleach might have to hit the road jack and um i, I mean that's that's pretty much it anyways my appointment's at 8 45 and it is 8 27 right now so i will be there in like 20 minutes and we'll get started Everybody stay calm, it's happening. Also, maybe she'll have like a completely different idea for me, but let's go see. Oh my God, I need to get my car washed so badly. <laughs> Here we are. Hi. Jen, hello. You're welcome, and you can have a seat. Okay, great. How have you been? Pretty good. Um, a lot of the pictures I'm looking at are still kind of blonde, but yeah. there it's just not as like yeah. this is like that's like light brown, but yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Well, like dark blonde, I would say more so. Yeah, dark blonde. Yeah. But if you were to go through and do some low lights, not as dark as your natural, not as light as your blonde, somewhere in the middle, like that light brown color, and do some low lights throughout, that's going to help to blend the root, so that way. It's not like dark light, you know? Right, right, right. A lot of low lights. Keep it bright at the end, a little bit brighter at the ends, like those pictures, and a little bit brighter around your face. We'll still do some highlights. Um, I think that'll feel really good. And then we'll tone over everything. So then you'll have your, your little bit of your root shadow, which will be like your natural root. You'll have that darker color that I talked about, but that's not gonna be as dark as the root, somewhere in the middle. And then everything that's out, that's left out, your third tone kind of, would be like that that dark blonde color. Yeah, I've gotten to the point where I wash my hair like maybe once every seven or eight days. Yeah, that's hey, that's good if you can do it. Are we cutting today? foils are in. I have quite a few. 
um, and I have to let them sit for like 20-ish minutes, maybe a little bit longer. So this is the current get up. Basically we're doing low lights and then a few highlights and then toning it. I think that's what she said. I look so ridiculous, but. And I think I want coffee. Hell yeah. I can't believe how many foils were in my hair. I know. <laughs> blonde now it's like I would love to be that blonde forever but it, it just comes to a point where it's like it's high maintenance it's so high maintenance and like and you're gonna see that this is a lot easier but then like you said come spring if you want to throw a couple brighter pieces in you totally could you know there's a lot of options <laughs> It's like the perfect happy medium. It oh my so god, good. I love it. Oh, yeah, I love it. it looks so good. So nice. You did such a good job. I mean, you always do, but like seriously. And then this just like so blended, so natural. I mean, it's oh, really wow. growing beautifully. Wow, that beautiful. It is so pretty. Wow, I love it. I am home now from my appointment. I could not be happier with how it turned out. Like, I'm literally obsessed. I'm feeling very narcissistic because I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> but seriously, like, this is exactly what I wanted. I love that it still has the dimension and that it is light. So like in the sunlight, it is a little bit brighter, but it definitely is toned down a ton from what it used to be. I don't think I've ever had my hair this color because I always tried to be like bleach bleach blonde or like almost black hair. So this is definitely different than what I've had, but it is closer to my natural color without being too dark. And I just, I love it so much. I'm so happy. Carissa is seriously the best. I try to refer her to everyone because she seriously always does such a good job and like really explains what she's doing. So I knew like what she was doing to my hair. So basically she put in a ton of low lights and then added a few more highlights and then toned the overall hair. So I still have like the bleach from before, but it's definitely like toned down quite a few notches. So it's like this nice bronze, dirty blonde, light brown color. I'll show you like what the back looks like. Yeah. 
three hours later. It is a lot later. I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this little hair transformation journey. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I really love it. Um, let me know what you guys think. A lot of people were telling me that I should go darker. If you have made it to the end of this video, comment down below something you are looking forward to this upcoming week and um, we can chat. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.